Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys would have mind smashing that like button and we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin four hour charts. Yes, Bitcoin on the four hour. Um, we have got up to our next horizontal level, which um, was this uh, $48,000 level area uh area this level um did we did we did pull back off that a little bit but now back right back up there so this is uh this is clearly looking good um for a for a move up towards our next level around the fifty thousand dollar level um so so yeah bitcoin bitcoin looking good here nice is is a nice move off our turnaround tuesday low um so yeah um just <laughs> that is it really we've got a nice little trend here we've got uh, we've got momentum to the upside. We are. We look like we have established a range. I mean, maybe this is to be the low level of our range, and we trade between um, basically forty-four thousand and fifty-three thousand, fifty-two, fifty-three thousand. Maybe we don't have to come down and test this all-important um, forty, forty-one, forty-two thousand. Maybe, maybe this level is just getting front run. And by the uh, by the uh, by the Michael Saylor Giga Chads of this world, uh, and and all those all those crazy um, crazy bit Bitcoin Bitcoin accumulators, um, but yeah, maybe this will be the bottom side of our range. I mean, it is looking it is looking like we have uh, we have bounced off it and tested it quite a few times. So maybe maybe just maybe we don't have to get down this low um, in this iteration of the of the bull market anyway. Um, and that would obviously be good. That will clearly be bullish um, if if we if the market doesn't have the um, if the bears don't have the strength to get us down here. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. Um, now it's just a question of how how high can we go in this move before we then get a pullback. Where does the lower high? Well, hopefully the lower high come in, and then do we push on uh, towards higher highs and potentially through through fifty thousand. So yeah, things are clearly looking a lot better than they were looking down when we were down here um back back getting towards important levels i mean this also there is the level that will be fraught with danger so this is why we kind of need to at least at least take this momentum um to break through and consolidate around fifty thousand and not get harshly rejected and come back down as long as we do that um then yeah i think uh we will we will we will digest the price action and then and then ultimately um push through um as long as yeah as long as we hold up here i mean this is this is the important level this probably between this whole area between 48 48 000 and fifty thousand dollar level um would be the level the bears are looking to uh to try and reject um and then also to try and try and jump on any sign of weakness that is that is shown by the bulls in this area um because ultimately if we get back above fifty thousand, um the bears are just gonna have to they know they're just gonna have to give up um and then we will we will be making our way higher um um with a high degree of probability at that point um if we want to look at the our good old satoshi uh the bitcoin uh, um ethereum satoshi pairing um although this is actually yeah it is why is it saying usd there oh no because it's my other tab <laughs> uh, yeah so our theorem satoshi pairing we have broken this downward sloping trend line and we are um we are now trying to uh testing testing our overhead resistance um from this level here i mean this is looking good this is looking good you can kind of see how the last uh, couple of moves up have been uh, a nice move up, a sideways to down consolidation, then a nice move up taken out the highs. Um, the only real difference is now, if we take out these highs, then we will pretty much end up in relative blue skies. Um, with the world the with the world being our lobster <laughs> so um so yeah i mean this is this is clearly looking good obviously with the with the with providing we can get through this horizontal resistance get above these highs um then yeah i think we will be we, we will be we were off to the races with this asset i think we did have a bit of a uh, a bit of obviously a a buy the rumor sell the sell the fact with um with just uh, the uh, the EIPs, the Ethereum uh, improvement programs, um, so or program the one that we had, and yeah, I mean, I think now we now get to see like a real the real pump, um, all those um, all those uh, paper hands that kind of FOMO FOMO'd in, um, and then sold on the pump. Now the now the real buyers will come in. 
the real buyers well the real guys but the real buyers potentially been accumulating and then will start to come in and then yeah really push really push this asset up i mean it's always you always get a recency bias of where like ethereum has kind of been in the levels it's traded at so if we do go over and look at the usd pairing we kind of got a recency bias now of um of basically anywhere between uh, anywhere between like say three thousand and four thousand and it's hard to imagine an eight thousand dollar uh, uh ethereum price in the in the immediate future um but that is just a human nature recency bias that is just uh, our human brain um but um but realistically an a two x a two x from these four thousand dollar highs to an eight thousand dollar eight thousand uh, dollar ethereum price is 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 entirely possible um easily within like the next month maybe two months tops um if this does get going i mean also one thing i'd note being in crypto for quite a few years is that even like your uh, even your um your what you believe to be uh over over optimistic bullish expectations just often just get ridiculously surpassed i mean if you just think back to when we were watching the bitcoin price let's go back let's go back when we were watching bitcoin when we we're all sat here looking at uh, looking at like a new all-time highs are we going to take out twenty thousand? are we going to take out we had all this uh all this um, all this messing around um to be honest even if we go back even further in fact let's just uh, look at this on a on a on a daily if we go back even further we we're kind of like uh watching all this um all this uh, price action around here struggling with the ten thousand dollar mark but we did break break up we bust up through that um I mean there was clear recency bias here we couldn't really we couldn't really imagine tw getting back to those all-time twenty thousand dollar highs but we did we got up here people are thinking well this is pretty high our all-time high um and then at this point after we'd realistically only done a 2x from this uh, ten thousand dollar area got back to about twenty thousand and then how many people were literally thinking within the space of uh the well the 15th of october so mid-october um to to basically uh march so wait so october october november december january february march so yeah four months four months bitcoin um was gonna do basically over a 3x from that from that level um obviously bitcoin been the the uh been the obviously the highest market cap crypto um it can't move as quickly as some other ones can such as ethereum ethereum obviously is the second highest but i mean we, relative to bitcoin it's obviously not as big um so yeah i mean if people don't realistically think that ethereum um can get up to eight thousand dollars pretty quickly i mean that was four months uh, for bitcoin to 3x bitcoin to 3x so let's say two months for ethereum just to 2x um then yeah um, i mean it is entirely it is entirely uh feasible um, i'm not saying that is necessarily what is going to happen but in my opinion it is what's going to happen in my view it is um so yeah i mean this this could start getting going so basically what i'm what, what i'm gonna say is uh yeah once in the dollar value i guess we clear we clear four thousand and hold above it in the in the satoshi pairing um once you get uh get basically above this high and then realistically this was an important level this uh, not spot 087 if we look at this on a weekly uh where this comes from it comes from basically um it comes from basically around these areas here once we get above this above this level here as you can sort of see uh the cup and handle forming um on this weekly um this is going to be a pretty powerful move <laughs> a pretty powerful move um, and if we do just want to take a, a of sorts um of sorts um a, a rough a rough um estimate um then i mean then yeah um a move up to basically not spot not one f uh four um which from basically this is against bitcoin guys so assume we say we have a hunch say we have bitcoin at 2x near a hundred thousand dollars um and then we have ethereum up about 80 percent above that um then then yeah we're looking at a quite a, quite a quite a big price but yeah an 80 percent just an 80 percent increase alone on pretty much the price of ethereum um with, with bitcoin just staying where it is um it gets gets us not far off eight thousand dollars doesn't it and then if bitcoin does a 2x i mean it pretty much puts us at around probably roughly thirteen thousand thirteen fourteen thousand um dollar ethereum um with the with the bitcoin 100k and the satoshi pairing at north spot 014 um so so yeah just uh some um 
some just wild speculation there. But um, the main point is, it is it is not so wild. Uh, this is crypto. I mean, if you just look at what kind of how large a cap Solana was, um, it's obviously not as big as Ethereum, but it is a big cap coin, and it went on an absolute absolute tear. Um, so yeah, I mean, Ethereum is clearly a better asset, a better coin than that. Um, so um, yeah, we shall we shall see. But anyway, I, I've gone on about this way too way too long now. Bitcoin dominance um again just holding below this uh, resistance so not a lot to see here i mean it's either gonna break above this and make a move to the upside or it's just gonna continue with its downward trend um i mean I, I, like my i don't have a view on which way it will go because it will just depend the variable is how aggressively bitcoin moves um and it can move very aggressively to the upside um in which coin in which point uh, Bitcoin dominance will struggle to keep up or it can just grind upwards in which point Bitcoin dominance will just uh, uh, come down and um, probably come down as altcoins enjoy that scenario as much as they, as, as they are enjoying the scenario now with a bit with with Bitcoin kind of just stabling out st stabilizing out here and just kind of moving them moving in a more orderly fashion um, let's have a look at uh the dxy obviously the dxy is important um is it in a bit of a let's just go to our correct chart uh the dxy um is kind of just uh consolidating at this level um below these highs uh testing this support um yeah i mean realistically we've got to wait to see which way this breaks um, it does look to me like it's just putting up a fight before breaking down, but I mean clearly it could just be uh, putting in a base before moving on upwards. I don't think we are done with this uh, this crack up boom, this Ludwig von Mises crack up boom in all assets. So I do think the dollar is coming down. I do think the uh, stock markets are continuing upwards. I do think crypto is continuing upwards for the for the foreseeable future, um, up until the point that. Well, well, just the currency collapses, and at which point, um, at which point, these assets are valued in the currency. So, when, when is that going to happen? Who knows? Is it going to be gradual? Is it going to be uh, gradual then all at once, <laughs> um, as um, as the saying goes would imply? Um, we shall have to see. Um, but what I will say is that the Fed, the Fed can't do anything. They can't do anything. I mean, they just. They got no choice but to keep um, keep doing what they're doing um, until something gives, and the only thing that can give is the currency. Um, the only thing that can give is the currency. So yeah, there you go. Um, so just uh, just um, just bear that in mind. We are there is no real. Uh, the end will be the real end. Um, so everyone might as well be all in because when when it ends, it's all over anyway. <laughs> um so um so yeah absolutely sound financial advice right there um just kidding uh s p um still having a little bit of a bounce here but stalling out at this level um i mean you can see it's an important level we may even just bang some horizontals on here just because it is pretty it is pretty obvious um uh, that if we do break above this this uh this area here here then we will just be um we will be we will probably be off to the races in this asset again um onwards and upwards so yeah i mean like i said this is this is well this is a quite an important level quite an important point now I should probably draw it um should probably draw a box in here as well um if 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 i can get it um so basically what we are saying here is that if we get rejected here um and basically come out and take this trend line again then we will be coming for we will be heading for a deep correction um and that yeah deeper than what we've seen and that will probably panic a lot of people um but on the flip side if we break above here then yeah it would be business as usual probably consolidate above here before pushing onwards and upwards but um but yeah this is pretty important level I, we are in thursday uh, so we've got today and tomorrow um before we close for the weekend i mean if we get rejected and start to come back down people will potentially look at this over the weekend as not as not ideal and there might be we might have a red week next week but um but if we, they do manage to push us back above, uh, well, it's pretty much 4,500, 4, isn't it? Uh, put, put, pretty much push us back above 4,500, then I think people will look at that over the weekend and just hit the buy button, hit the buy button, and as soon as they come in, as soon as they uh, they hit their trading desks on Monday, and it will just be business as usual after after this uh, after this sale, this sale that went on. 
Um, so um, yeah, um, yep, 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 yep. So let's have a look at the uh, stochastics, which we know are clearly going to be looking good. Um, a four hour is stalling out up here, which is understandable after the move. But yeah, consolidating at the high is the higher time frames that are going to be interesting. Ten hour all the way up there, looking to get a little bit toppy though, but still got room to run. 12 hours still got plenty of room to run and daily has got all the room to run daily has got all the all of the room to run so um like like i've been saying we get above these levels fifty thousand uh, dollars is looking like we can get up there and the stochastics would indicate that we've got a good chance of breaking through um but yeah i mean that that has to then um that has to then tie into the fact that I do think we'll potentially trade sideways within within this range. So maybe we do break through 50,000, but we don't necessarily. We struggle to get much above here. Um, maybe, maybe we do get up to the $55,000 level, test some downside. And as long as at that point, as long as this point, when we if we break and consolidate above 50,000, as long as we then hold 50,000, even if we have like a, a, like a, sh a medium term sideways range between 55 and 50,000, I think that that would still look fine. Um, but if we carry on looking through those stochastics, the um, the two days still coming down. Um, so obviously, um, if that if we do get above 50k, this does turn back up. I mean, it's just going to be um, it's just going to be more of an indication that we are gonna we are gonna take out that we are gonna hit those all time highs for Bitcoin. Um, three day um, coming down as well. Um, but at some point, like I said, it will turn back up if. Um, if we do continue our price action five day looking to turn back up as well and weekly um, still got a lot of room to run here because uh, remember this is a slow moving a slow moving one so yeah a lot of uh, quite a bit of room to run here just based on the time frame that it is and bi-weekly uh, coming up as well and monthly is the only one on the higher time frames that is uh, is still coming down but we can't we can't read too much into the monthly um, based on on um, on the time frames we're looking at so yeah I mean it is all looking it is all looking um, very good remember once we are above uh, 58 and a half um, all, be all bets are off and the market will uh, the market goes uh, the go market goes full uh, full bullish full bullish um, with uh, J hook uh, parabola wild moves and um, we would be expecting grinding our grinding our way up in a in a uh, in a probably a, a t 10 steps forward uh, two steps back or maybe I could have said five steps for one step back um, um, fashion uh, for Bitcoin and it will just be it will be a wild ride uh, it will be a wild ride um, and yeah I think that is what is on the cards I do think that is what is on the cards the only proviso for this is if if the Fed does what it is basically can't do um, if the impossible happens and the Fed just literally um, does raise rates or does actually tighten um, just uh, decreased uh, a slower amount of um, of of um, of basically buy bond buying is not, does not equal tightening um so it's still more bonds more bonds they're buying every month so yeah i mean but like i said it is it's practically impossibility at this point the federal fed will do anything like that it just it just can't uh if it was even going to have to try to the economy would have to be in a better place would have to be through this global uh pandemic and would have to be like fully functioning and uh, firing on all cylinders again and um, before they could start to do anything like that at which point inflation would be rampant also um but but like i said we don't need to in we don't need to concern ourselves with that at the moment that is for something for that is something for well maybe if that's something for next year potentially maybe even the year after um so yeah um things looking better things looking better here um can we get basically back up to 50,000? Can we break above? Can we consolidate above? Obviously, uh, that's the bullet, the very bullish scenario. Just getting up to 50,000, consolidating up there is also bullish. Um, we just don't want a, a major rejection uh, between where we are now and 50,000. As, as, yeah, I mean, realistically, that would, if you do look at the overall pattern, would look kind of look pretty bearish. <laughs> And then, yeah, we'll be looking at testing this forty-one, forty-two thousand dollar, which would have to hold. I mean, would that look uh, would that look pretty ideal for a for a bear trap um, to afford a load of people out of their coins for the uh, for the evil market manipulators to scoop up? Yes, it would. Um, but is that what they've tried to do here? And this is as low as they can get before the buying has come in and just getting us to that level has been front run potentially so we shall see how it plays out so a very a very um a long video there where i've just rambled on but yeah so apologies for that hope you guys have a great day remember this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you guys soon